Hi everyone, meteorologist Amanda Reynolds here on this Tuesday afternoon. We've had some clouds building in from the southwest throughout the afternoon and that's going to continue overnight tonight. And you can see on our Alpha Insurance camera right here over downtown Tupelo, those clouds beginning to push in. Right now, temperatures in the low 40s. We made it into the mid 40s for most of us. But we'll continue to drop down to just below freezing. Now, we will have some rain showers, especially down further to the south, and that could bring the chance for some frozen precipitation overnight tonight. So here's Futurecast. The green is areas of precipitation, and the blue is areas that are going to see those temperatures below 32 degrees. Now, notice as you get to or the early part of the overnight hours, the rain is down to the south and that cooler air is to the north. Now, as those kind of creep together, that center line is where we could see those chances for freezing rain and maybe even some sleet. But I think for the most part, the cooler air stays up to the north and the rain stays off to the southeast. So we shouldn't have too much to worry about as far as that's concerned. And we're also missing one of the key elements for, to actually see accumulating wintry mix. So we'll see the moisture and we'll see those that air temperature around 32 degrees. But the ground is still fairly warm. So any sleet or frozen rain that does fall will likely melt as soon as it touches onto the ground. Now, tomorrow we're going to continue to see mostly cloudy skies and continue to be fairly chilly. We'll see those winds out of the northeast around 8 to 15 miles per hour and over the next several days it's going to remain fairly cool. We'll have limited rain chances other than what we'll see overnight tonight. As we go into next week, we'll definitely begin to see that Arctic chill going into 2018. So here's your seven day forecast. The possibility for that wintry mix going into the overnight and into tomorrow morning will slowly clear those clouds out by the time we get to Friday and Saturday. New Year's Eve looking fairly nice will be a little bit cooler as our next system begins to push through. Can't rule out the chance of some precipitation New Year's Eve night and into New Year's Day. But after that, looking very sunny and very chilly as we go into to 2018. So there's your forecast. Have a great rest of your holiday.